definitely wobbly-ish chair ever. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while but I've had to learn how to set a filming situation up. <clears throat> a filming situation up myself with lighting and that and believe it or not I'm not that technical. I'm absolutely useless with cameras and computers and just all of that jazz. But anyway, today I'm going to be trying out a UK brand. It's an exciting brand for me. I love the packaging and there's a few of their products that I already love and there's some more that I haven't tried. So today I'm going to be working with Iconic. This is the bag, what my brushes come in and here's some of the products. So I'm going to be talking you through my thoughts and applying them, showing you how they perform. And yeah, and just going through that, it's not a sponsored video, they just sent me some gifts and I thought I would try them out and share my thoughts with you guys. So if you would like to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Doing it. Right, start again. So let's get started. Iconic sent me this lovely makeup bag full of brushes. So I'm going to use as many of these brushes as I can include in this video. And they've sent me some lip plumping glow, some seamless concealer, um, some sheer blush, and some prep set and glow. I've used these before, I love them. And of course the original illuminator. I haven't took any of this out of the packaging yet. So I'm gonna be trying out these goodies with you guys on camera. I'm really excited to try the concealer because I've seen so many people posting on social media about these and just always looking for a nice concealer. So I'm gonna take these out. But that is the three concealers that I have there. I have the shade, shade Natural Beige, Light Cream and Beige. It's quite hard to see in the packaging, but I do love their packaging with the frosted glass there and then the rose gold. Oh, they look creamy. They actually look really nice. I reckon I could use all three of these. That's how they come like that. This is in Cheeky Coral. Oh, bright. Power Pink. Yeah. Well, this is nice as well. Fresh face. It's like a nudie brown kind of colour. And then I've got some lip pumping glosses as well. This one is Peekaboo. And I also have, oh, I like this one. This one is in the shade Love Struck. So that's that one there. So I've got them all open now. And um, I'm gonna apply my usual base. I'm gonna do it slightly different today, so I'm gonna film it for you. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Iconic uh, Illuminator Drops. My face isn't moisturized, is it? No, it's not. I've also got a little friend here today, which isn't great, but you know. So I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer. I've been using the Zoe Skin Health um, skincare system for about two and a half weeks now because I started getting pimples and up until yesterday for about the past two weeks I have not had one spot and then literally yesterday afternoon this guy decided to join us which was really annoying I wish I'd have filmed in the two weeks when I had clear skin so anyway I'm just going to apply some of this all over oh, that spot's really hurting and then I'm also going to apply some of the Tarcha, what's this called? The Silk Canvas. It's like a bit of a putty, I'd like to say. Let's take a little bit like that. And then I normally keep this kind of in the centre um, where I know that my pores are quite big. Right here on the chin foundation. Today I'm using the Givenchy Matte, Matte Me Velvet Radiant Matte Foundation and this is in the shade Matte Ginger. This is kind of lighter than what I normally use because I haven't got any tan on at the moment so I need it to be a bit lighter. And then out of the brushes I think I'll try this one here. It's kind of tapered, 
like that. Um, it hasn't got a number on it, I don't think, no. Anyway, so I'm gonna just start, oh, this isn't that light. <laughs> it's okay, I'll lighten it out with them concealers. All my foundations are slightly darker because I just never, ever normally have a time where I'm not wearing fake tan. And if I do, it's normally like when I'm away or when I haven't got any need to wear makeup. That's blended out really nice. And I, this brush is really nice and soft. That's so soft. Um, yeah, so that, that's blended out nice. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's get on and try these concealers. Um, what shade should I try first? I think I'll try beige. I'm gonna give this a whirl. I'm going to put this in my usual spots. The applicator is really nice and long. It feels really nice on the skin. I'm going to try and cover that up. And then I'm going to put some on my chin. So I need to balance out the colour of this foundation because obviously it's too dark. And a little bit on the nose. I've probably applied way too much. Damp Beauty Blender. And I'm going to start patting that in. I think that's really nice. It's definitely full coverage. Really nice colour. Really nice. I'm really impressed with that so far. Um, right, so that was beige. It hasn't covered that spot up, but to be fair, that is a monster of a spot. It is so sore, like, even just to put that on. Um, so I think that's going to take a little bit more work to cover it up but i'm going to try to ignore that for now um and then i think i'll go in with this one's natural rage and this one is light cream i think i'll try the light cream because i do like quite a bright under eye just going to put a tiny little bit there there and then see what this looks like let's just added that little bit more um light under the eyes in here really really nice i'm happy with that very nice okay so seeing as i don't have an eye primer from iconic i think i might just go back in with the um beige concealer i'm going to put this all over my lid and use this as my eyeshadow primer. I do that a lot with my concealers, just out of laziness, because I have got a lot of um, eyeshadow primer, eyelid primers, sorry. But um, when you've already got the product out, it's just easier sometimes to just use that. Very impressed. So I'm going to use some powder under my eyes. I'm going to be using the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Protecting Oh, perfecting um, micro powder and this is one fair and what I've been doing lately is I've been taking my sponge and going straight into the pan and then I've been using this instead of a loose powder it just gives like look at the difference it just gives such a flawless finish um, and then obviously it gives a bit of coverage because you're not dusting it off like the translucent powder and I feel like this really blurs out the pores. Like, look at the difference in that. I hope you can see it because in my mirror it is completely different. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so that is that. Um, I've just realised that I forgot to put my cream blush on before I put my powder on. But that's okay because it's going to be a good test for these blushes. What I will do is, is I will take one of the Prep, Set and Glow Water Mists. This is actually my favourite. I used a whole bottle of this before. Look how pretty that looks. So satisfying. Anyway, I'm going to spray this over my face so it's a bit damp so that I can try out the blush. I should have done this before the powders, but these things happen. So... smells so nice as well. I'm going to take that sponge and I'm just going to pat 
here because that's where I'm going to apply these. And while my skin's still damp, I'm going to go in with a blush. I'm going to try the cheeky coral, I think. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, very creamy. And then I'm going to take my sponge, a little bit on my sponge, and then I'm going to work in a small area and pat this over my cheek. This might be a little bit light for me. This shade, it is giving a subtle blush, but I think I might try the, um, which shade is this? Power Pink, because I feel like that might be a bit subtle for my skin tone. Let's try this one, it's a lot brighter. And I do like a real flushed look, so. And that is that applied. I think this will probably, for me personally, I will try it again straight on foundation because obviously I messed that up. But I think for me, this would be more of like a natural day or for holiday um, because I do like my, br my blush to be quite bright. This is very pretty and natural, but you know, I'm just not really into that natural look. So where is my blusher? I'm gonna go in over the top with some Exhibit A from NARS. It's my favorite blush at the moment. And um, I'm gonna take my MAC, hasn't got a number on it because I've had it for so long. This is intense. This is very intense, so just take a little bit. Just kind of set this down. I'm looking pretty flush. Right yeah. The bronzer that I'm going to go in with is my favourite, Hoola Caramel, on the same brush. And I'm just going to dust this in the areas that you would catch the sun. So along here, across my nose, chin, and then obviously I need to do my neck because it's a completely different colour. Make sure that's blended in. Oh shit, I forgot to use the brushes. What is wrong with me? Maybe I'll go in with this one, big fluffy one. These brushes are so soft. That MAC one's actually so scratchy. But because I've had it for so long, I just like still use it. But it is actually very scratchy compared to this. This just feels like pure luxury on my skin. I'm happy with that. I think that looks really glowy and cute. Okay, so again, probably should have put this on before I put the powders on, but I've done it. So let's dab a little bit there, a little bit there, and hope for the best. This one. I think I've actually forgotten how to do my makeup in all this time. That blended in really nice over the top of the powders, to be fair. But at least I know that I can actually use this over powder if I need to. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna just pop a little bit in all the areas that I normally highlight. And then I'm gonna take one of the, this is like a little angle brush um, to just buff that in. believe how nicely this is going over the powders. I'm actually really shocked because I've had this product for ages but you know you just get excited about things and then something else comes out and you forget about them. So this is one of them products that I loved and I just stopped using. Here's the brush for the nose. I'm really impressed. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more spray just so that all meshes together. And then back in with my sponge, I'm just going to go over that highlighter and really push it into the skin. And then for my 
actual eyes, I think I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Lips Astral Quad Iconic Illumination Eyeshadow Quad. Okay, it comes in really cute packaging. You have to undo it like this. Um, and then this is what the packaging looks like. I've had this quite a while. I bought it when I went to LA in November. So it is only shimmery colours. So normally when I've got a palette like this that only has shimmers in, I tend to just use an eyeshadow, I mean, sorry, a bronzer. Normally the one that I've already got on my face, which in this case is the Benefit Caramel. I'm gonna take the fluffy brush out of the set that I've got here. I'm gonna take some of that bronzer and I'm just gonna start putting this in my crease. Oh, she's lovely and soft. Neatly blending it out really nicely. And again, this is over that concealer. And I always like, I don't know, like when brushes look like this and they're like super pretty and they're um, kind of new out, I never really get drawn to them because I always, I don't know why, but unless a brush looks like this, I'm not normally interested. I always just think they're not going to be good, but these are actually really impressing me today. Okay, now for the fun bit, I'm going to go in with this shade here. I've got the colours here. So that is bronze gold. Um, actually, I've got one more pattern I've got. I should have just remembered. I'm sure I packed it as well. Here it is. Yeah, I've got one more here. This is in the shade um, Corrupt Copper. I think I'm going to use the copper colour because I've not used this for ages. I'm just going to go straight in with my finger and I'm just going to pat this on the lid so I can get like the full pigment. That is so pretty. And then I'm going to take one of the smaller brushes from Iconic. What options have I got here? Hmm. Maybe I'll try this one. It looks like a lip brush or a liner brush, but it's only for the inner corner of it here. Perfect. Happy with that. It looks really pretty. And then, of course, I'm going to have to go in with this shade. Now, where did I put that little card? This is the shade Astral Gold Allure. I'm actually obsessed with this colour. It is literally the sparkliest, sparkliest eyeshadows ever. Look at that. So I just like to pat this over the lid. Oh, oh. And then I also like to take it right up into my brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to try out something that I bought the other day. This is the Eye Colour Magic Liner Duo Enhance and Pop Your Eye Colour Copper Charge by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I really like to look at this. I love, I love a brown eyeliner and this has got a brown on one side and then it's got like a shimmer colour on the other side. So that's that side, it's like a brownie, a ready brown, and I love that because for hazel eyes, green eyes, blue eyes, it does really make the difference. So it's the first time I'm using this. I'm gonna put it in my usual areas. I'm gonna get my sponge, spill this in a little bit, and I'm gonna apply this in my waterline. It's quite red, and I just love anything red. nice and soft which is great because I hate it when they're hard and you can't get the pigment off um, and then for the lower lash line I'm going to try the bronze if this doesn't show up too much then I won't I'll use the other color but I just want to try this so. it's is showing up and I do like it but I think I might go in with the other shade as well 
because I don't feel like that's bright enough for me. I'm really interested to see how this blends out. Now, what brush am I going to use to do that? I could use this one again. Get the shimmer off. Um, I'm going to try the Iconic brush. Obviously, this isn't what I would normally use. So, just going to see. It does seem like it's blending out quite nicely. I'm going to go in with one of my own brushes. Something like this. This is a Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number on it. It's like a really tiny little bullet brush. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this shade here which is the bronze gold, just using the same brush. Um, and then I'm gonna go over that eyeliner. Wow, now that is popping. I really like that, it's really, really pretty. Right, now time for some mascara. I'm still using the Fenty Full Frontal mascara. I'm just going to put a few coats of this on. And then I'm going to apply some lashes. Now recently I've been cutting my lashes down and just using them on the, I'd say like about a third way in instead of putting them right in, I just find it so much more comfortable. Um, for a super glam look, I would probably use the full strip, but for my, like, I don't know, when it's just more of a soft glam and it's not like a full blown event, um, I'm just liking that look at the moment. So this pair that I'm about to put on, I have used before, so I'm just removing some of the old glue. And what I've been doing is I kind of like will kind of sit it over the lash and figure out where it needs to sit. And then kind of like push it into the lash line. I get a small line there because I can't actually see it. what I'm doing at all. So that is how I've been wearing my lashes recently. Like, as I said, it starts from about three quarters. Um, they're just so much more comfortable. I'm going to use my trusty Buxom lip liner um, undercover. And I'm just going to line my lips how I normally do. like that and then I'm going to go in with this lip gloss and this one is the Love Struck. Oh, this is one of them lip glosses that you enjoy putting on. The application, the texture it is really really nice impressed with that so this is my makeup look complete i'm really impressed with the iconic ah uh, the iconic products just take my hair out so haven't got them little clips in this is my isolation hair it's mostly my hair except i've got two small rows of tapes in the back there for a little bit of thickness but yeah it's mostly my own hair um yeah so let's run through what i thought of iconic the lip glosses are definitely a win for me i haven't tried this color yet but going off of the formula and the applicator of this and the packaging is just pretty as well 
really impressed and it's a really big tube as well. You get um, 0.13 fluid ounces in there for mils, which is quite a big lip gloss. So those I'm really impressed. The brushes, I wasn't actually that excited about them, but now I've used them, I'm really, really impressed with them because they're really pretty to begin with, really light and quite fine, so they're really nice to hold. And they actually do the job. So very impressive. Um, this I've loved for a long time anyway. I've had this a few times over the years. This is my favorite, this is the original. But this one I use when I'm on holiday, especially places like Ibiza. If I put like a glow over my um, shoulders and like my collarbone, sometimes I put some on my um, legs, like I'll put some body makeup on and then a bit of glow over the top. And I always use this just all over my body because it does give you a shimmer. And um, yeah, and it just makes the glow look really melted into your skin. So those I knew I loved anyway. I forgot how amazing they smell. So they're a yes from me. The lip glosses are yes from me. The concealer stood out the most for me today. I really enjoyed using that. So I'm excited to see how it performs, how it lasts, and also to try it out more in the future. It would definitely save me having to order shape tape from America, it's really annoying. Um, and then I've been kind of stuck on my Too Faced concealer, which I've been using for ages. They're about to run out, so I think I found a replacement. Again, the packaging's beautiful, really impressed. The blushes wasn't really a win for me. They're so sheer. I think they'd be nice for all them lovely girls out there who are natural and don't really wear any makeup, especially on holiday, just for a little bit of a glow or maybe just to intensify your blusher, you could put them on um, and then put a powder blush if you're like me over the top so that you get that really um, good pigment and they probably will last a bit longer if you're using them underneath. But personally, I think I prefer my powder blusher. But that said, I will see how this lasts because blush is the first thing that disappears on me. So using it underneath might help that. And if it does, I'll be sure to let you know. Anyway guys, I hope you are all staying safe and all finding things to do in this isolation. I hope you are remaining positive and calm under these uncertain circumstances. Um, obviously I know most people won't be wearing makeup, but if you're like myself, I find it really therapeutic watching other people do their makeup. I watch makeup tutorials all the time. And for me, this is just a bit of a release. I just like being creative. I love trying out makeup things. So yeah, I hope that anyone who has watched this has found it interesting or it's took their mind off things for a few minutes. And yeah, I'm sending you so much love and take care guys. And I will see you soon.